trafficking in persons uh, in Southeast Asia or ASEAN regions uh, now have become more visible, more identified, because a lot more countries have ratified the UN protocol. They have the laws on trafficking and they have increasingly conducted like uh, joint information sessions or awareness racings or capacity building for law enforcement agencies and, and other service delivery organizations. So the concept of trafficking in persons has become more known to the public and to, uh, to the ASEAN communities. So with that, uh, increasing knowledge of trafficking, more and more victims have become more um, visible or identified in the, in the region. We believe that a, a comprehensive approach should be, should be applied when, when you intend to combat the crime. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, areas of cooperations that the that the government need to need to apply. Like for example, in terms of providing assistance to victims, it can only be possible when it is provided through a whole of government response. So IOMs with Interpol, there's a lot of areas to work on. We have we have uh, the capacity of conducting research. And IOM by far is the only organization that collects data on victims of trafficking. And there's so many things we can do with that kind of information. We collect even uh, like a very specific information at the individual level of, uh, of victims. So uh, that information is useful for Interpol to set up its strategy going forward and facilitating law enforcement agencies in, in combating the crime.